saja yang perlu saya sampaikan. Ada pertanyaan? Siap. Dan pelaksanaan kegiatan. Seen here is the Indonesia-Malaysia Border Security Task Force from 6 to 1 Manuntung Infantry Battalion. Before they depart to Nunukan Regency, North Kalimantan, to patrol boundary markers between Indonesia and Malaysia. Each patrol team consisted of 8 to 12 personnel from three Mahasta troops at Lumbis Post in Lubis District, Nunukan Regency, North Kalimantan. It was not easy to execute this special mission. In addition to the long journey, they must penetrate a jungle that was rarely explored by humans for 15 days, while bringing some basic necessities to survive. The main goal of this mission was to find and maintain boundary markers between Indonesia and Malaysia, and ensure that they are in good condition to mark the territory of the two countries. Due to the extreme routes, most personnel had injuries along the way and treatment efforts were carried out adequately. Apart from the jungle, the task force also went through a river with the help of the locals. It was a route with many obstacles due to the rapid flow of river. Despite that, the river was an ideal resting place with various trees and available water source. For these armed force personnel, the best spot in the jungle was their resting place accompanied by the silence. However, they need to remain vigilant before setting up their tents as threats such as falling trees, wild animals and natural disasters may occur any day. During their break, this personnel took their time to pray and express their gratitude to God for the given opportunity to carry out the task. The patrol mission was shown in the morning. And after finding the border's location, the task force cleaned and marked the boundary markers coordinate hey! points. It took a long time for them to complete the mission due to the huge gap between each boundary marker. Semakin gelap, tapi kita harus tetap jalan karena tidak bisa. Extreme terrain and weather did not stop the task force from completing their mission. At some point, they must continue their journey in the dark. Though they only brought food supplies for only 15 days, they would still receive logistics they were sent through a helicopter if they ran out of supplies. Task force would burn shrubs to produce smoke signals to the helicopter. These food supplies were dropped from above and compiled into one to be carried by the task force. Some food supplies that spill, such as canned fish, were also collected into a container to be used as meal for the next day. Meanwhile, the number of boundary markers between Malaysia and Indonesia in Kalimantan is 4,202. The task force were able to find 3,743 boundary markers, while the others 459 have yet to be found. The mission is also considered a success after they have discovered some boundary markers that remain missing since 1977. Tujuan dari patroli patu kan jelas ini merupakan tugas pokok kita. Jadi tugas pokok kita itu kalau saya sampaikan yang paling utama yaitu menjaga ataupun mengamankan perbatasan. 
dengan melaksanakan patroli patok perbatasan. Bagaimana patok perbatasan itu tidak bergeser atau bagaimana melihat kondisi patok perbatasan itu tidak patah, miring, hilang dan sebagainya itulah tugas pokok kami sebagai satgas pantas di wilayah perbatasan khususnya daerah Kalimantan Utara. The task force was able to patrol all boundary markers and complete the mission in 24 days ahead of the 45 days target. They were allowed to return to the headquarters using a helicopter. Previously, they have prepared a makeshift helipad for the pickup point using three trunks. The task force also ate their last meal together in the jungle while waiting for the helicopter's arrival. Due to the limited number of helicopters, they were picked up gradually in two phases. They finally departed to the headquarters of Indonesia-Malaysia Border Security Task Force in Nunukan Regency. Their arrival were welcomed by fellow personnel with warm greetings. It was an emotional moment for the task force indeed, as they were able to complete their most important mission yet. Today contributor reporting from Nunuka, North Kalimantan.